If there's one thing that defines 2024 when it comes to software, is the absolute explosion of AI. For many software engineers out there, the hottest topic is, will AI take my job? So if you're looking to learn to code, you might be wondering, is it still worth it? In this video, I'm going to tell you why the answer to that question is yes, perhaps more so than ever. And I will tell you my thoughts on how to approach this in 2025 and beyond. Hi, I'm Robin, welcome to my channel. I taught myself how to code just over 10 years ago using PHP and JavaScript. Over the years, I've had to learn and use Java, Python, Go, TypeScript, Rust, and Ruby to various capacities at different companies. So let's talk about why I think learning to code today is both easier and more important than ever, even with AI in the picture. Well, learning to code is not just about learning to write some commands into a computer. It's about systematic thinking, problem solving, and breaking larger problems down into smaller ones. It's about designing products that people use and systems that power those products. Even if 10 years from now, AI could do all of these things, you're still going to need a human in the loop. A human who understands how all the pieces come together, understands what problems people have and how to solve them. Learning to code will give you those abilities beyond just writing code. And these are very valuable and transferable skills. Now that you know it's worth learning to code, let's talk a bit about how. You don't really need to pay money for courses or boot camps, and you can absolutely become a professional software engineer without a degree. What I would recommend is go online, go on YouTube or other websites, and follow tutorials that help you make something that you're interested in. That could be copying a website or an app that you use a lot, just to understand how it's built. And when you're stuck or when you don't fully understand the concept, learn to notice that and use AI chatbots like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini, or what have you, to ask the questions that you have to try to get unstuck. AI chatbots can both teach you concepts and also show you examples that don't even exist on the internet. So if you have a specific question or a specific case and you're trying to solve a specific problem, that's one thing that I didn't have when I was learning to code. I had to either figure it out on my own or look for tutorials or documentation that was close enough to the problem I was having so that I could get myself unstuck. Today, you can actually just use a chatbot and it works almost perfectly. Another piece of advice I would have if you're starting to learn today is to use an AI native code editor like Cursor or Zed, or at least something like Copilot or Supermaven combined with an editor like VS Code, because these tools really are the future and they do make you a lot more productive. One word of warning though is don't just accept the suggestions that these assistants give you blindly. Try to understand what the code they're generating is doing. If you don't understand what it's doing, you can just ask the AI to explain it to you. Just remember that the important thing is not to write code, it is to gain an understanding. Another piece of advice I would like to give is to learn about web security. One of the biggest things that software developers are worried about in the advent of AI is that people are gonna forget how to secure their systems. Security is difficult and it has so many elements that you have to get right. There's no such thing as a 100% secure system, but you do have to understand the basics and follow the best practices if you want to make it as a software developer in a professional setting. The problem with AI and AI generated code is that it's easy to miss small details that might cause security risks. So learning about the basics of security will really help level you up in the early days. And I would recommend just building security in from the get-go rather than learning about it as an afterthought. If you follow the indie hacker or tech communities at all, you might have seen two fairly high profile security incidents recently, which I'm sure you would much prefer avoiding if you're building something in the future. So here are a couple of tips from me on how to get started with security. The first one is to learn about authentication and authorization. Authentication is often covered in tutorials, 
and there are lots of best practices around hashing and not storing passwords and there's lots of authentication libraries out there that can help you handle this fairly easily. But I find authorization often gets skipped over or doesn't get covered in as much detail as authentication does. But authorization is just as key as authentication. So I would urge you to look up these two concepts. They are both incredibly important. So just get the basics and the best practices in your head as early as possible. The second thing is to learn about encryption and also the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption. That should help you understand how HTTPS works, which is essentially the backbone of all web security. And that brings me to my final thought that I would like to share, which is don't worry too much. It's impossible to perfectly anticipate or predict how AI might change the world in the future. Just start today, focus on the next six months, I can guarantee you that software developers are not going anywhere in the next six months. If you start today, within six months, you can be well on your way to being a competent software developer. So follow your curiosity, don't forget to have fun, and I'm sure you will find your path. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in learning to code and building great things. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more thoughts like this on tech, software and AI in the future.